Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because in today's video I'm going to show you how to make homemade keto bacon. It is completely sugar free and nitrate free and it is probably the best bacon I've ever had in my life. <laughs> yeah, so for this recipe you're going to need pork belly and this is a 10 pound pork belly that I cut into three different sections. So each section is about three pounds. You'll also need one quarter cup of monk fruit sweetener, one quarter cup of kosher salt, three teaspoons of celery seed powder, one tablespoon of Himalayan pink salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of nutmeg. And you'll also need one cup of sugar-free maple syrup. You'll also need some one gallon Ziploc bags. So let's start off by whisking our ingredients together. As I mentioned in the intro, this is going to be nitrate free. Basically the celery seed takes place of any like curing salt that you might use for regular bacon. I'm going to pour the mixture into a separate measuring cup. That way I know how much I need to put in each baggie. All right, so about a third of a cup will go into each baggie. Go ahead and slide your pork belly into the baggie. I get my pork belly at Costco. It was $3 a pound. So the whole pork belly was just over $30. Considering how expensive nitrate free bacon can be at the store, we are saving some money. And it's homemade, so you know exactly what goes into it. And even considering how strong the celery seed powder smells, in the finished product, you can't really taste it. All right, so now we're going to pour the mixture into the baggie. Both sides, you want to get the top and the bottom. I'm just gonna massage all of that mixture into the pork belly. Get the sides and everything. If you have a food saver machine, that would be really, really helpful for this too. And you could suck all the air out but I don't have one, so I'm just going to try to get as much air out of the bag as possible. Make sure your baggie is completely sealed. And you got something that looks like that. All right, so those are ready to go into the fridge. What I usually do is I just stack them on top of each other in my vegetable drawer. That way, if there's any leaks, the, the drawer will catch them and won't get all over the place. All right, and then every single day, I'm going to flip them over in the fridge and repeat that process for five days. So then the next day, I just flip them over like this. And I'll just keep doing that for the next five days. This is probably the hardest part is the waiting <laughs> because this is actually considered the curing process. So this is what infuses the bacon with all of that yummy salt and flavoring and just draws out all of the moisture and, and puts it back in. And uh, this, is, this is where all the magic happens. So I will see you guys in five days. Okay guys, we are back with the bacon and doesn't it look amazing? 
So it reached an internal temperature of 150. That took about two and a half hours on the smoker. I've been letting it sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes before I cut into it. This is probably the least fun part about this whole thing because I don't have like a automatic uh, meat slicer, but just make sure you have a couple nice um, sharp knives and some uh, Ziploc freezer bags and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one right here just so I can quickly show you what it'll look like. And there is homemade bacon. It smells amazing. So I'm going to put about a pound of bacon in each freezer bag. Okay, I got my bacon going in the pan. One thing I like to do when I'm frying it is put a little bit of fresh ground pepper on it. Okay, so I just did a half a piece of bacon because I'm not that hungry right now. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Well guys, if at all possible, try to make your own bacon. It is a lot of work, but you end up saving money in the end and you get a better quality product than what you can get at the store. So I hope you guys make this recipe. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.